Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Learning JavaScript Promises, Practical Applications in ES6 and AngularJS by Pack Publishing. I've been working with lots of JavaScript, mostly Angular and Node, for about three years, which is also around the time I discovered how great, but sometimes troublesome, asynchronous programming can be. When I found out that Promises were going to be part of ES6, I got really excited because, on a daily basis, Promises help me solve issues such as race conditions, callback creep, missed events, and more. In this course, we will cover many features of Promises, from the most basic to some pretty complex asynchronous flows. And the examples we will use to illustrate those will be both practical and fun. We'll start off with introducing Promises and how to use and create them in Angular. We will then see what we can do with Promises and what kinds of problems they help solve. And this time, we will do that using the ES6 implementation. So you'll get a wide coverage of both Angular and ES6 promises. We'll continue with planning and executing asynchronous flows, including handling both successes and failures. And all the while, we will be using real-life examples, showing how each of the tools will actually help you develop your own applications. In the same vein, we will then learn to combine promises into easily understandable and clearly coded processes. By the time we reach the last section, you will be perfectly comfortable with promises and what they can do. And so we will learn more advanced tips and tricks that I've discovered through my experience with promises. Throughout the course, we'll be building cool widgets, each using a particular feature of promises, and you'll discover new browser capabilities. We'll have the browser speak, read and display the current battery status of your device, a weather forecast, and even a small car racing game. All those widgets are actually demoed at this URL, and all the code for them, each of the steps, will be available on a Git repo, which you can also use to get in touch with me if you have any inquiries about the course.